Now, this truly just went under the radar for me. Looks like GitHub Copilot has introduced workspaces. This is a new update where there is now a Copilot native developer environment. This is quite huge as any developer can go from an idea to code to software all in natural language. You can specifically craft the enhance rather than supplant, which will bring out the creativity of anyone who uses this. It aims to accelerate and simplify the creative process, and it's going to enable seasoned developers to think systematically and significantly reduce the threshold for entry into software development. Just take a look at this video demo, which will showcase how you can actually get started with the GitHub Copilot workspaces. Getting started with your work usually takes place looking at a project board and navigating to GitHub issues. Copilot Workspace brings your favorite AI assistant into a native dev environment designed for everyday tasks. For example, it can use the information in your GitHub issue, along with references from your repository, to build out a specification based on the current state and proposed state. And you can tailor the spec as you need, whether that's adding, editing, or removing items. Once ready, you can progress from spec to plan, and the process feels familiar with the ability to adjust the plan as you need by creating, modifying, or removing files and adjusting the expected tasks for each step. This leaves you in control, free to solve the higher level problems and build out your plan before getting into the finer details of writing code. Copilot Workspace then streams the suggested changes to our environment. Notice that we have a diff view to easily digest the changes and can easily make updates within the editor. But that's not all. At our fingertips, we have access to an integrated terminal, so we can run the tests in our workspace before committing our changes and creating a pull request. And what if you want to make use of advanced features like step-through debugging? No problem. Create a code space and pick up where you left off. When you raise your pull request with Copilot Workspace, it generates a description for you and automatically adds a link to your workspace, adding a little bit more context for the reviewer and supporting their code review workflow. And as it's a pull request, our usual checks trigger, including GitHub Action workflows and code scanning. Copilot Workspace leaves you in control, solving the higher level problems and iterating quickly over the solution. Now, this is something that we're going to be taking a look at throughout today's video. At this current moment, you can't actually get started with it right away. You need to join the waitlist to actually get started, where I'll leave this link in the description below. But throughout today's video, we're going to be explaining this further in detail, showcasing the capabilities. There's so much to this, so stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the GitHub Copilot workspace update. Now, first things first, we're going to take a look at how you can join the waitlist. It's kind of easy. I'll leave this link in the description below so that you can access it. Just simply click on the join waitlist button. Once you have done that, there will be a button to join the waitlist. You just simply click on that button and it will tell you if you're on the waitlist. And you can see over here, thank you, Beyblade OG, which is my backup account, is now on the waitlist for the Copilot workspace. And now you just have to simply wait for an email to actually get access for the workspace. It should take a couple of weeks, but once they are ready, they will give everyone access. Over the past couple of years, generative AI has fundamentally transformed the developer landscape, mainly integrations with developer environments. Now in 2022, GitHub had done a great job in launching the Copilot as an auto completion pair programmer. This is where it's used in editors and it will significantly boost developer productivity up to 55%. Now, it, this would basically make it a more widely acceptable and adopted AI and it would be used in various use cases. Now, in 2023, they've introduced and released the GitHub Copilot chat and this was mainly used for coding, debugging, testing, and this was all in real time. And now today, we have the introduction of GitHub Copilot workspaces which is now unleashing a new era of like what GitHub is actually able to do. It's a native developer environment where developers can brainstorm, plan, build, test, and run code using natural language. This task-centric experience will utilize various Copilot-powered agents, and this is throughout the process when you're developing software, and it's gonna grant you a full control of your code in each direction or each step that you take with github copilot so let's take a look at how this workflow works with the workspaces 
so we know that it aims to meet developers needs right at the outset and this is something that they've been trying to work on where in the initial stages of a project we often have a challenge whether that's starting a new project or addressing feature requests this is where the ai agents within the workspace project is going to aim to address this and this is right from the outset this is where they're going to be able to receive AI assistance right from the inception of your idea. So when you propose a task, the AI agents are going to be deployed right away and it's going to help you and assist you with the creation of whatever you're trying to work and tackle. Now, once these AI agents are tackled, it's going to start off by building the structured plan. And this is where it's going to be addressing the issue, drawing upon its comprehensive understanding of the code base, as well as the issue at context. It's going to present this streamlined checklist that we see over here. Yeah, proposed topics that it's going to work on as well as the current topics that it has. It's going to provide necessary outputs to validate the plan and it's also going to use it to test the code. Now, every aspect that is proposed by the GitHub Copilot workspace is going to work from the plan of the code, which remains fully editable and it's going to enable developers or anyone who uses the Copilot to iterate until they are confident until they find the right path that is needed for their tool or their software or whatever they're trying to accomplish with it you can execute your code directly within the copilot workspace this will be transitioning to an underlying github code space to make further adjustments and this workspace can be used so that it can also be shared instantly with anyone who wants to edit the code meaning that it could be used for collaboration as well as experimentation now with the code ready, you can proceed to file pull requests and run the GitHub actions and conduct security code scanning. This is going to be requesting human code reviews from any team member or from just yourself. Now the advantage is going to lie in leveraging the code space to basically demonstrate the journey from the idea of the code that you had initially. And then it's going to also showcase the enhancing transparency as well as collaboration with the team as you work through this workflow. Now, something really cool to note is that GitHub Copilot Workspace is mobile compatible. Just take a look at this video. Ideas can happen anywhere, whether you're at your desk or on the go. And that's why Copilot Workspace is accessible from the GitHub mobile app. It starts by defining your task, which you could type or use your device's built-in dictation capabilities. You can then review the generated specification and add, edit, or remove items as needed. Once you're satisfied, continue on to review the proposed plan. And once you've had a chance to review the plan, move on to the implementation. You can manually review the code changes using the diff view and make edits as needed. And you can leverage the built-in terminal to run your unit tests so you can check that the code is performing as expected. Once you're happy with the proposed changes, you can choose how you want to integrate them. For now, we'll create a pull request and Copilot Workspace will generate a description for us. Let's get that created. Now, after switching back to the mobile app, you'll be able to find your new pull request is available. Exploring ideas on the go has never been easier, thanks to Copilot Workspace. Sorry for being repetitive, but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a patron this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. You get access Access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. At the end of the day, this is definitely a remarkable tool that is going to be very useful for a lot of developers as well as just basic users who are trying to design or basically create various components with the help of AI. And this is through GitHub's Copilot workspace. I'll leave all the links that I use in today's video in the description below. Definitely recommend that you take a look at this and join the waitlist because this is something that will definitely help you guys out a lot. Now, I'll leave a link to the Patreon page as well in the description below. We have a subscription that is going to be giving out free access 
to various tools this week so if you're interested definitely follow through with this it will definitely help you guys out make sure you follow me on twitter if you haven't already a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news but with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas